Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, and I wanted to hop on here and share some happy mail that I got, and also something that I purchased that I thought was cool. But anyways, so first I'm going to start with some fabric down here, because uh, I have it in a, in a basket, and I want to grab it so that I can show it and put it back in the basket. Oh, Patty. <laughs> Alright, this is from the person who sent me quite a bit of fabric over the last little while, and um, they wish to stay anonymous. So I got it kind of separated out here. So these are all like solid colors for liners. So this piece of yellow and a cream, uh, another yellow, and then a big piece of red. So those will work perfect for bag liners. <laughs> and then there's two super cute Christmassy prints. I absolutely love these. I can't wait to make bags out of these. But this one, it's like a cookie gingerbread cookie uh, cooking thing like cooking and these are like already made gingerbread cookies so pretty I love them I cannot wait to make bags of these they're gonna be so cute and then it's just really cool yoga print I thought that was neat it's like a canvasy print too and this is another like canvasing one of like gardening that is so cool and then there's this one of plants like uh, house plants which is awesome because I love house plants <laughs> I've quite a few myself. <laughs> and then I've had this print before, but it's still cute. And it's sunflowers with birds. And then this one makes me think of my father in law. It's got motorcycles and skulls and American flags. <laughs> and then fireworks. What are you doing? What are you doing? And this is like a, I think this is a Paris print. Yeah. It says Paris, and you can see like a silhouette of uh, the Eiffel Tower. Pretty uh, flowers. And then there's just a really cute little mermaid one. So cute. And then there's Tinkerbell. And this is like a sewing thing. I have a bunch of this fabric hoarded up <laughs> um, that I plan on making myself stuff with, and I never got around to it. But this might go in that hoard. <laughs> and then there's just really cute. Yeah. Where are these animals? Uh, it says Lucky Duck, Love Moo, Stand Tall, Daydreamer. It's like a baby print, I think. And this is a really cool print. It's like uh, hunting dogs, coon dogs. And there's a pheasant or something. I guess that's what they're hunting. Pheasants. <laughs> but they're hunting dogs. And then there's this really cool, like, 1920s flapper girls. Well, they're not really flappers, but they're that era. And then here's another. This is like a canvas of like sewing accessories. And then there's patriotic doggies. <laughs> and patriotic paw prints, which would go good with that last print. <laughs> and the last one, this is a Christmas, like a wintery print. But it's the red truck with wreaths and a Christmas tree in the back of it. Super cute. That feels like it's a couple of yards. So that's all the fabric that I got. But then I also got a couple other little things here um, in the mail. Let me get it out. I stuffed it all in one package so it's easier to move around. There you go. So first I got a card from Jackie. And she lives in, um, is that Michigan? Am I? I can't remember if that's Michigan or not. But her card has a really cool Halloween stamp on it. And her envelope is like a pretty decorative one. And it matches her card with a peacock on it and there's also a butterfly it's really cute so she wrote a nice little note in there and it was very nice i liked it a lot this is a thank you card for, she ordered some bags and she sent me thank you cards which i think is really cool and she also appreciated the stitch markers that i gave up to everyone who ordered halloween bags last time last shop update uh and they were her first uh stitch markers so that's cool but it's such a pretty card i love that that'll definitely be going into my junk journal stuff because i've been I just kind of got like a cottage decor theme and that goes right up with that. <laughs> the next thing is a package that I got that was very red. It's a very red package. And it is from Mora from New York. I, I don't know why I thought that was going to be New Hampshire. I was, I was thinking of New Hampshire, but it's New York. <laughs> Anyways, she sent me a cute little package. First, stickers. <laughs> Halloween stickers, which I love. Me and Jesse both love stickers. And, uh oh, you dropped all your toys. She sent this card, really pretty butterflies. 
I look like they were watercolor at one time. You know, and then it's a print of the watercolor. But she uh, saw where I mentioned that and wanted some mittens for June. So she made me, well, she made June a pair of mittens. She said that she had been wanting to try this pattern out. And so she did. Look at them. They're so cute. And they got the cord on them so that you put through the jacket so that if the kid takes them off, they don't fall. So that's so cute. And they do fit her with room to grow. So she'll be able to use them when it gets chilly outside. And it's knit and it's thinner yarn, so it's smaller. So I think it'll be fine for her to use. And it's super ash merino, so it can be washed. Um, and then she sent a little goodie bag. This little bag. Some of the goodies is missing already, but it has candies in it. But we were, we picked out a few already. <laughs> but it's a cute little bag that I'll definitely be reusing. And I also got an organza bag with the mittens in it. So I'll be reusing those. So thank you so much to the person who sends fabric. They know who they are. Maura and Jackie for your gifts. I, I love them all and appreciate them very much. And I'll try to take a picture of her wearing his mittens when the need arises. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing is something that I bought at my local thrift store. They got a lot of their Christmas stuff out now. Are you pulling my shirt up? What are you doing? Oh, you found my tag. <laughs> um, so, I was digging through. They have like their Christmas stuff separated. They have um, Christmas cards and stuff. So, I was looking for Christmas cards because I send out a lot <laughs> usually. So, it's better for me to get them really cheap there. So, I got this little bundle. It was 49 cents. So it comes with all the little envelopes. The cards were in there too, but I pulled them out. And then there's the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. So there's seven of each. And there's a cute snowman card. And a reindeer card. Those are so cute. So some of y'all might get these cards this year from me. Because <laughs> uh, they're adorable. And that one opens that way. That was neat. So it's fourteen dollars. But then I also found this, and this was a, it was a um, dollar forty nine for this. And I was like, cool, those look vintage. You know, like they're made to look vintage. Uh, if that's what's in there, then I'll be happy. But I opened it in the store, and it's not what was in there. But it was like someone's collection of cards <laughs> from you know, like how we all have these piles of cards. Over. Yeah. But it's like a whole bunch of different. Uh, prints of cards like from different sets of Christmas cards over the years and there's also some thinking of you cards there's a couple get well cards and there's envelopes mixed in there's these look so 90s these are from the 90s there's a goose <laughs> and thinking of you and huh, I'm gonna drop them everywhere and then there's that thinking of you one that's what's so cute and there's some postcards in here as well and then there's some that's got uh, Native American prints on them and it is from St. Joseph's Indian School in South Dakota, 1990. This card's as old as I am. Uh, but that's cool. Envelopes. And then these do look vintage. These are postcards. It doesn't have a date or anything. But there's a few and just the, the print on it looks vintage. <laughs> uh, and there's just some more random Christmas cards and a thank you card. There's another one I was making American ones. This is from 94. And there's another Native American. And then these were pretty uh, nature ones. I thought those were so cool. They're made out of like different fill and paper. And then I think this is just a blank card. Or no, it's a thank you card, but it's a really pretty one. Get Well Soon card. Some more Chris, like vintage looking Christmas cards. It's upside down, but it's still cute. Uh, and then just some more Christmas cards. Santa. Snow. Snowman. So a lot of y'all be getting those cards too. And then the bottom of the box is a whole bunch of tags. <laughs> and some of these do look definitely old. I imagine this was some um, grandma's hoard of cards. But just, these just remind me of like the... Christmas labels from the 90s on packages that I used to get. <laughs> um, this one, what is this one? This is like a cardboard thing that they cut out of like a cereal box or something is what it feels like, but it's got uh, labels on it. And there's a few, oh, this is a card that's got signing on it. This what is that? January 15th, 1997. 
Uh, dearest Denny, Phyllis, and girls, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Have a wonderful Christmas happy and ha Happy New Year. Love you. Grandma. Aw, this is from someone's grandma. And it's got the Noah's Ark on it with a Christmas tree. <laughs> that's interesting that it has a Christmas tree on it. But that's so sad. It's so uncomfortable like that. I'm not going to be able to throw that away. But yeah, there's just like a bunch of... So this was probably that woman. This might have been Phyllis. This might have been some lady named Phyllis's uh, horde of cards and um, tags. This one's got like a globe on it. Yeah, this, these look like they're from the 90s. Just the colors and everything. There's one with gumballs on it. <laughs> the one says happy birthday. Especially, special, it's, what, did it, what did I say? <laughs> Especially for you. This is so cool. Happy birthday. That makes me so sad that this is someone's grandma's card. And they, they donated it. <laughs> you find some weird stuff at donation centers, I'll tell you. I find a lot of personalized things. I think it's weird where people donate picture frames with pictures in them. Like of their family. That's really weird. I guess maybe that's when you, you know, someone got divorced maybe or something. <laughs> or personalized mugs. I see those all the time with like grandkids pictures on them. But anyway, some of these Christmas cards and thank you cards and get well soon cards. Some of y'all might be getting one of these days. Uh, I wish I had been more of these. These are so cute. But anyways, that is my little hoard. To add to my other hoard, which is in my desk drawer here. That I'm going to have to pull out and put somewhere else because this ain't going to fit in there. That I got last time I was at my thrift store. <laughs> but I'm getting a nice little collection of cards now that I can start sending out to people. I guess that's it though. That's my Happy Mail and my random cards from... I'm going to say Phyllis. These are Phyllis's cards. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in a video. Bye guys.